Hey everybody. Um, I don't know how long this uh, whole thing's been classified and not really sure if I can discuss it, but uh, um, the Norway spiral. You heard of the Norway spiral, right? Okay. Well, it didn't just happen in Norway. That's not the only place. <laughs> Uh, it was in Australia as well, and it hit America too, but it was during the daytime and you couldn't see it in Florida. Uh, and in Australia, it was all up and down the coast from Melbourne down south and back up north. And and, and look, th th that, that spiral in the sky it is man-made, it, it, it's recreatable, and I know how to do it! <laughs> uh, I think that's what scares scares. I know it has to scare the government a little bit because they're totally involved. But uh, uh, well, nowadays they're in control, so you don't do that Norway spiral unless you want <laughs> unless you want to go to you know secret prison, get waterboarded. And, all your human rights taken away and they really don't give a shit and I think they would probably attack your family as well. <laughs> uh, which is a deterrent. <laughs> so I'm not really sure if I should tell you how to recreate it, but uh, you know, it's gonna come out and uh, um, I know you want proof. You're like, mm, this guy's full of shit. He, this, what a this fucking guy but uh, I assure you um, the Norway spiral uh, is caused by Teflon and, and and I think I told you all about that that Teflon is, its atomic number uh, has uh, one extra electron in its outer shell and uh, it's just how it is man you know uh, different elements do different things uh, especially when you're transmuting the elements into uh, smaller elements you know uh, I know you don't probably don't believe uh, that you can uh, tr uh, transmutate an element like uh, like crack it in half and, and come up with uh, helium hydrogen oxygen uh, the 13 lowest elements on the periodic table all of those um, are create uh, that's how you get zero emissions uh, this they, but no believe me they don't want to save they they don't want to save earth they want to make money these fucking guys so they're a bunch of losers and that's why I, I'm talking about it Yeah, so I know. See, nobody wants to believe it. It's all good. I mean, you can't deny it. Uh, there's lights in the sky uh, all over the globe. Uh, and that's due to the... Uh, uh, our levitation devices. Like I was telling you, it, it, we we can create phenomenon and, and and control levativity. Now, as I was telling you earlier, it makes a bubble, bro, like boom. Okay, just like the TR3B in that one uh, nighttime. Ooh. So that bubble is it, caused by uh, like uh, antimatter. In, in a sense, guys, don't trip on antimatter. 
the antimatter, uh, the energy from a vacuum, um, uh, all, all that shit. Uh, let's see, what a uh, antimatter, what do you call it? black hole? Uh, it, it's look, what basically you're uh, you're creating a star, and, and and that's what we're talking about is star power, bro. And it all is revolves around the uh, vortex knowledge. And, it, you know, I showed you a, a picture of the Earth, and, and you can't deny it, bro. I mean, there are vortices spinning at the North and South Pole. Uh, this is not by accident. <laughs> Uh, magnetic fields go through objects. Uh, this is not by accident. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, <clears throat> before I like make levativity right here in front of your eyes without sound, we're not going to use sound. Sound's a frequency, you can do it too, but I'm talking about controlled. Uh, I, you know, there's Boy Bushman experiment where he took a, a like a, a tube and he put 18, 18 inch speakers on each end right and, and and he drove the frequency together and it go boom man just kind of like you know you can make the bass go boom 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 and shoot uh smoke rings out of your uh speakers okay when when you put those together and, and if they hit perfectly dude you can get that Yeah, okay, so, and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. It gets deep, man. Uh, it, it, that, this is what we're, we're talking about, though. And these are the secrets that are out. Now, the only problem that I could see happening is this type of technology would get in the wrong person's hand. And when I say wrong persons, uh, I'm basically talking about uh, I guess like extremist or radicals, radical people that uh, um, that would use it for harm, you know. Now look, if, if a government uses it for harm, uh, the government has an agenda. But me and you, I mean, we're just people. We're, we're living in society. There's no agenda here, okay? I'm not out to rule the world and hop in my little spaceship and zip on over to Ireland and kick back with my buddies. <laughs> Start delivering some gold from the moon to my buddies. No. Jeez, people. Now... The alien shit. Let me let me explain the alien shit. There's pictures, there's photos, and it leads to our breeding programs. some sort of weird stamp on the creature. Uh, is this a government experiment? Is it a... Who knows, who knows what this is? We, sorry guys, the government has breeding programs. And our taxpayer dollars used it and you know basically your tax paying dollars are used to advance and keep number one ahead of everybody else and it means every single field the gloves are off man they've been off for a long time we are in competition with the globe 
and now with YouTube and the internet and being able to go global and, and, and talk to friends in other countries, uh, it, it's, we're in an adjustment phase, okay? So, uh, just chill. I got all this shit under control and I'm going to bring you all the knowledge I can. But you're going to have to subscribe, bro. All right, subscribe, share, and like. Okay, getting back to the Norway spiral. Inventor jailed Paul Pantone back in 1980s. He created the plasma generator. Um, so the plasma generator um, can can burn burn zero emissions. Yes, uh, clean, clean, clean. No carbon, no carbon emissions whatsoever. Uh, but um, the shaft and and how it spins, you know, uh, uh, the rod or your drive shaft or something. Uh, well, they noticed uh, that's where the power. The, the that was nothing compared to the pi power being made where the actual transmutation of elements were. Uh, and, and, and this is in a pipe. It's in a pipe, a, a tube inside of a tube with something inside that makes it go. And then when, when that all happens, man, at each end, uh, they was wrapping Teflon around the pipes and, and this end. And then that little star is burning right here. So that was creating that spiral, bro. The spiral goes both ways. It goes up and down. So there's one going in the earth and there was one going out there into the, the sky. And uh, so, so that's why we don't use Teflon in your plasma generator. <sighs> because uh, you're talking about sealing the vacuum and they're using Teflon to seal the vacuum. Please uh, find some of that uh, RTV, the red uh, goop, and you put it around. It's heat resistance and forms a gasket. That's the stuff you use because uh, if not, you're going to get the government uh, coming down with the TR3B uh, using a levativity and possibly one of their little uh, designed creatures. Now, could we call them grays? Maybe. And then I just want to touch on one other thing, last thing. Could we have got it all wrong? Could the crash in Roswell been a cover-up to cover America's levitation secrets? Yeah, they said it's all aliens. Like an alien's fucking smarter than me and you? I don't think so. Well, you're, you're comparing it to an engine again. Sort of kind of. It makes uh, fuel for anything that uses fuel. I can fire up a little three horsepower engine and make enough fuel from that engine to power a, a city. Yeah, because now it Power produces point. it produces hydrogen, right? The hydrogen. Oh, it's a hydrogen-like substance and weight, but it does not explode, it implodes. Oh, okay. Okay. So once you have a perfect burn going and no pollution coming out the tailpipe, and in most cases actually more oxygen coming out the tailpipe than there is in the air, at that point. You're making so much energy, you don't need it all. Yeah. We have more energy coming off the exhaust pipe than you get off the shaft of the engine. Yeah. So we're doing, uh, when William Shatner called up and we chatted with him, he said it sounded like Star Trek technology. And I laughed, I said, well, if you remember the first few episodes where they sent Scotty up the tube, mm -hmm. up the plasma reactor, mm -hmm. to fix the plasma reactor, saw this big glass crystal tube with a pipe inside it and a rod inside it. Mm -hmm. The shape of the rod wasn't right, but everything else was right. And when they were showing the lightning bolts going through it, that's exactly what's happening in the gate. Mm. So he starts laughing, going, you need to tell me this is another invention that we first got to show on Star Trek? Because <laughs> I'm writing a book about this.